Welcome back. We are coming to you today from Washington as we await the Federal Reserve's decision this afternoon. Newly appointed Fed Chief Jay Powell will hold his first news conference since taking over for Janet Yellen. The Fed is expected to raise interest rates today and could also upgrade its outlook for 2018. Let's check futures right now in terms of market performance ahead of the announcement. The Dow Industrial is expected to be down about 20 points and the Nasdaq is right now expected to be down 23 points. Joining us right now to talk more about that is uh, McGill Loan CEO Dean Sukis. Uh, uh, we are uh, here in Washington. Dean, thank you very much for joining the conversation. Uh, thanks for having Good me. To see you. Are you expecting the Fed to raise rates? Absolutely. Uh, I think everyone's baked that in already. Uh, we're expecting to see that 25 uh, basis point uh, bump today. And we're at Megillah, we're expecting to see additional rate bumps later in the year. And, and what would be the impact there from your standpoint? Uh, from our standpoint, I think it's all positive. Uh, we, we, are, we need a little rate movement. We need uh, the Fed to have that uh, headroom to, uh, to stave off inflation with additional bumps, and then if need to, to re-stimulate, they need to come back down. Rates are so low right now. They're historically low. Uh, John, John Hilgenrath uh, is with us this morning from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, John, good to see you. Thanks for Great joining to us be today. Here. How do you think Powell's policies differ from Janet Yellen's? I mean, we've talked a lot about the fact that he's worked with Yellen for so many years. He's worked with Yellen, and, and, and her approach really has framed the approach that he's going to take. Very slow, very gradual, but consistent interest rate increases. I don't think he differs so much from, from her from a policy perspective. What's changed is that the backdrop has changed. You know, when, when Janet Yellen left office, we didn't have all this fiscal policy in place, tax cuts coming in, spending increases. So Jay Powell has a different uh, fiscal setting that he's got to address. And because of all the stimulus coming into the economy, that makes for a more bullish outlook for the economy and potentially more aggressive interest rate increases. So are you now, do you believe that we'll see four rate hikes this year as opposed to three, which was the initially uh, the expectation? That, that, that's, that's, certainly, that's certainly the risk. Yeah. And you have to wonder if they go even beyond four wow. if, uh, if the economy keeps going the way it is. And that's what I wanted to ask Dean, sure. yeah. is it, does it make a difference in the real world if they go three or four? We're talking about a quarter of a percentage point. Does that really change the business landscape? if the Fed does a little bit more or a little bit less than it says? At Megilla, we don't believe so. Uh, Megilla exists at the intersection of borrowers and lenders. We're a lending platform. So we're at the forefront of, of borrowers and lender activity after these rate bumps. And in the past, rate bumps actually haven't been bad for, for uh, the transaction volume at Megilla. It's actually been positive. And to your question, no, I don't think so. Rates are rates are low, when, and three or four is not going to matter. When does the rate at which you lend at go go up? Is that going up? I know that bank uh, certificates of deposits, CDs, and money markets, they haven't really been impacted uh, in terms of going heading higher as we raise rates on, on the short end of the curve, uh, short-term rates. And so CDs, on average, are less than a half a percent. You're getting 49 basis points to keep your money in the bank. I mean, I almost you, you just put the cash under your mat at that point in time. Do you see lending rates uh, going up on the other side? Uh, we are going to see that. We need some more headroom there in order to see those CDs uh, start bumping up and those depository rates bumping up. And yes, we're going to see that rise, but it's going to take more rate bumps in order to get there. All right, we will leave it there. Dean, thanks for weighing in there. Heather Zamaraga, 